All right, you see people like this, this honorable member, honorable Emeka D. Ebo, is the reason why I will never stop talking in this country. You know, even though I see a lot of backlash, sometimes I go come online, I go talk about person where they obviously, they scam people. It's the many people, they are aware. Some people go say, it's against, it's trying to spoil the person's business. The other day, I come out for B-Lord. Somebody get the audacity, they talk, say, you are trying to spoil this business. What business is that? Where a lot of other people, they cry. Where a lot of other people go say they put to me up. I don't understand. Do you understand? It's crazy. I talk about Okolora the other day. Somebody say it's against Igbos. He say, what's my business with your tribe? This is Nigeria. This is my country. But anyways, you see this man. This man on my screen. This man is a thief and a fraudster. And I will not sit down here knowing what I know about this man. And I will let him run for office. It's not possible. As you can see, this man is running for office. Um, on his campaign poster, I say supports Honorable Emeka the Ebo is running with Abga. So Abga, be careful. And people in Anambra states, you people have to be careful of this man. Now, um, it says supports Honorable Emeka the Ebo to represent the Demili North and South Federal Constituency 2023. This campaign post house for 2023. So he go still run again for the next election. You understand? So this man is a thief. What did he do? The person where they teach in Peking for U.S. His children stay in the U.S. The person where they teach in Peking computer science for U.S. He approached the guy and told him about a contract in Nigeria. A contract where we say, he say, made a pool money so they get government contract. They will execute it and they will get their own gain. The guy said, he asked him that, is this thing legit? He said, yes. Is it legal? Because he does not want to do something illegal. The guy said, I'm an honorable member. It is very legal. I'm not going to lie to you. The guy said, okay, how much will we need for all these things? Because I am interested. You understand? Everybody won't make money, which I don't blame him. The man said they need $250,000. The guy said, ah, make I go check. He checked his account, checked his wife's account. They gathered all their life savings of $230,000 and they sent it to him. This is a proof. Now, the money transferred to Davis Ebo and then it's $230,000 in 2019. After they sent it to him, um the man excuse me after they sent it to him the man said okay the guy asked him he said uh please let's adjust the transfer to 230k hello please confirm the transfer the man said let me check it is there 230k so he confirmed that the money has gotten to him do you understand then he said we will uh, we'll transact as agreed we revert back so business is about to start after a few weeks, Baba said, how far this contract? What did they happen? The man gave a story. How far this contract? The man gave a story. The guy now told him that, okay, do you know what? Inside that money, send me $60,000. Let me use it to do business. The guy started to the beat around the bush. They talk long, long story. The guy said, ah, Baba, send me my money. You'll be sending my money. After long, much, 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 the man sent $20,000 to him. The guy say twenty thousand dollars out of two hundred and thirty thousand dollars doesn't make sense. The guy can't tell and don't say the sad part is that this twenty thousand dollars cannot save me from this predicament. Please help me with another forty thousand so that I can pay the balance on this order. I am begging you. He starts to beg for the money, but still on still the guy no still send them. As I'm talking to you, so the guy no send them until this guy get the audacity. You understand? He don't leave US where they stay. In wife and in children, he don't leave them. He can't come to Nigeria now come they run for office. So you were still money with person where know your wife, know your children, know your family members, know your houses. You still in money, then a Nigerian's money now you won't come pity. It's not gonna work now, bros. And you go return that money. Yo. Uh, me, I will go to the end of the earth to find that money. You will bring it out. I know some people like you they get connection. Your connection will finish. You understand? You can't need it to finish. You will bring down that money. And everybody will watch it online. That money must come out. You understand? It will come out. And you will not be a political... You will not have political office in this country. You will not. We don't want people like you in power. You are a thief. You are a froster. We don't want people like you for Nigeria. People of Anambra State, beware and be careful of this man. If this man enter power in your country, you people are done. Nigeria is for all of us. Me, I don't do tribe and religion and all that. Not even consign me. If I see something and I say this one is good, I stand for it. If it's bad, I run away from it. Do you understand? I don't care your money. Do you understand? And now for the people who go always to say, hey, that man is trying to spoil people's business. Sit down and think. How about the people? How about the victim? Whether they scam? Where you go collect their life savings? 
your own fellow Nigeria. Your own fellow Nigerian. No, 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 no. We are not going to let that work. Let me go straight to MPF and CCC. I can go meet uh, the uh, Ogadie. At least Oga is a very nice man. You go follow the case well. You understand? We need to carry you come. You will learn. And you will learn the hard way. Beware of this man, Anambra people. Nigerians, beware of this particular man. Don't do business or any transaction with him. Else, you will learn. And you will learn the hard way. Don't play.